Usually around this time, NBA fans will be watching March Madness and witnessing which potential NBA prospect would emerge and rise to the occasion. Sadly, because of the current situation, the NCAA tournament was canceled. But hopefully the NBA season will start back up again and finally get an NBA champion crown. The 2020 NBA draft class is unique because the draft order at the top could go a number of different ways. A lot of attention has gone to prospects like LaMelo Ball, James Wiseman, and Anthony Edwards. But I would like to discuss the players who haven't gotten the recognition they truly deserve. This is one of those drafts where the best player in the future could end up being drafted outside the lottery. In this video, I will discuss the most underrated prospects of the 2020 NBA draft class. French guard Killian Hayes. Now Hayes has been creeping up on draft boards the last couple of months, but I still feel he's underrated. The 6'5 combo guard really improved his game as a playmaker and as a scorer. He isn't an elite athlete, but he is solid. He has a smoothness to his game that makes him such a joy to watch. He has an improved handle and has a step back that will make Luka Doncic and James Harden proud. In the EuroLeague this past season, he averaged around 13 points and 6 assists which is very encouraging for an 18-year-old. He shot around 88% from the free throw line across all competition this past season. That's a great sign for him as a shooter on the next level. Given that the top prospects have a lot of question marks in their game, Killian Hay should be in the discussion for a top five pick. Alabama sophomore guard Carroll Lewis. He is not as hyped as the other number two that used to play for Alabama, but he could be just as good, if not better. Even though he's a sophomore, he just turned 19 years old in April, which will be normal for a freshman. Speed is the first thing you notice about Lewis. He is probably the fastest prospect in the draft. He is similar to De'Aaron Fox. He is very shifty and has a good handle to keep the defense off balance, and he loves to attack the basket. Lewis ranked as one of the top transition players in all of college basketball. His 5.1 transition points per game were fourth best among D1 players this past season. He averaged around 18 points, 5 assists, and 5 rebounds in his sophomore season. He had a problem with taking bad shots at times instead of being patient and look for the best shot. He will have to become a willing shooter and a better shooter so he can be more effective driving to the basket. Villanova sophomore forward Sadiq Bey. He is one of the most versatile defenders in this year's draft. He can keep up with some of the quickest guards and is strong enough to bang down low when he switches on a big man. His IQ and defensive awareness is what makes him such a promising wing defender. He has become a lethal outside shooter as he shot around 45% from three point range. He can knock it down off the catch and off the dribble a little bit. He plays almost like a point forward. He has the ability to make plays for himself and for his teammates. He's an underrated post player. He shows good footwork and a soft touch to score buckets down low. He lacks the explosion and elite athleticism you need to become a top-notch scorer in the NBA, but he can be the ultimate role player for a championship contender. He can be a Robert Covington type with a little more potential on offense. Florida State sophomore guard Devin Vassell. He had a breakout year during his sophomore season after having somewhat of a mediocre freshman season. Bassett has the size, length, and athleticism to be a primetime role player on the next level. And there's a small chance he could be even more. For the second year in a row, he shot lights out from three-point range. He shot around 42% from three in both seasons. And he doesn't always take the three-point shot. If you give him the mid-range jumper, he will take it. He isn't an elite shot creator, but he does have solid handles, which he will need to improve on if he wants to become a more versatile scorer. Vassell is very active on both ends, and his athleticism allows him to get easy buckets at the rim and play great defense. Florida State was a top 10 team in block shots, and Vassell was one of the leaders in that category for his team. This two-way player should be a lottery pick, and in time, could end up being one of the best players in this draft. 